Hi there, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In previous video, we learned about direction pseudo selector in CSS, which used to select elements based on direction attribute in HTML. In this video, we will learn about disabled CSS selector. The disabled pseudo class selector provides conditional styling to HTML elements that can receive user input when the elements have the disabled attribute. It is defined in the CSS selector level 3 specification as a UI element state pseudo class. It means it is used to style content based on user's interaction with an input element. Elements that can receive the disabled attribute includes field set button input text area option group and option which is used in select the drop down there are two valid syntaxes for setting this attribute. Either you can set disabled is equal to value disabled or in HTML5 you can simply use the disabled boolean keyword. No values, just disabled. An element is disabled if it can't be activated that is selected, clicked or accept user input or accept focus. Let me explain this with an example. We have one form with some action. You can add action wherever you want. Here you can add one label. For name, for example, enabled input input type is equal to text regular input focus that is attribute. You can give one hr tag horizontal ruler label for name again disabled input input type is equal to text and disable let's see so, as you can see, the input type, this is the regular input text box. You can add your content here and disabled, it's disabled. You can't add, you can't write down anything in this text box. So, if you want to make CSS, if you want to apply some CSS to disable input, what you can do? You can go to CSS. input sudo disable here you can give background color to red or anything you want as you can see this is regular input which is fine no issue and this is disabled so using disabled you can apply some css to make the difference between regular css a regular input field and disabled input field you can display you can show user that this disabled text field is non-editable you can't add edit anything in this text box so 
you can add border as well to look it little bit different for example black it looks different than this regular text field as you can see input sudo disable here disable can be changed with other sudo selectors like before and after to generate icons or tags to provide more user feedback any property that can be animated with css transitions or animations will be properly animated when the disable attribute is added or removed from the html element that's all for this video don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye